Hello. Um, let's see. Let me get my phone real quick. Um, I am doing a live showing how to speed clean your home. And today is February 24th, 2023 for replay purposes. And it is 4.58 Central Time. So if you're watching this sometime after that, you know what to do. Hashtag replay. And I'm going to show y'all um, the speed clean method and um, see if we can get this done. So I figured I'd just go ahead and do the kitchen because, you know, it's one of the things that has probably the most uh, things in it to kind of clean. And as I've said before, and welcome, welcome, if y'all would say hello, if you're new, put new in the comments and do all those things down below, send out the blessings and tag a friend, um, and the emojis are awesome as well. So if you like what you see, let me know. And um, so, as I said before, if you could do your house cleaning on Friday, Friday evening, I know when you get off work on Fridays, you really don't feel like doing anything, but I tell you what, it makes a difference. If you'll sacrifice and just keep going after you get off work and do the house cleaning, even start maybe on Thursday night to do your room or something in your bathroom to where you don't have as much on Friday evening to do. Because I'm telling you, it's a great feeling when you wake up on Saturday morning and your house is done and you've got a free weekend to do other things, you know, so um I know everybody would like to have two days off and that's how you do it is by doing your chores the night before. The other thing you may do is put on something that you can eat on over the weekend, a roast or a big pot of chili or whatever, um, so that you have the meals also ready to go. So um, that's just my suggestion. Hello, Joy, which I have not prepared anything to cook. Um, a lot of times we do, but we did not this time. Um, so, and if you missed my previous one earlier, I showed how I cleaned the outside windows of my house. So if you missed that one, go back and watch that one. So, um, so let me show you what I do. So I've got this sit back. Um, so what you want to do is start in one part of the room. So I'm going to start at my left, uh, which is where my kitchen counter starts. And... Let's see. And then my kitchen, my sink is right here. And then I come on my kitchen's use shape. Then my stove. And then I have a piece of furniture here that I found on the piece on the side of the road. That is kind of my coffee bar and a little oven. So when we fix cornbread, we use this little oven instead of using the big oven because it seems like it takes forever for it to preheat. And you're heating a whole bigger, you know, area than this little oven that my dad had when he moved in so my dad does live with me so I take care of two men and myself so um, I do like to put clean hand towels out every day so those are going in the dirty clothes I use rags instead of using a lot of paper towels I do save my napkin plies from from my crafting and I use those to soak up grease and stuff in pots and pans. But let me tell you what I use. <clears throat> I get these spray bottles and I've got all purpose cleaner in this one, which is also a degreaser. And I have my glass cleaner in one and I have it marked. This is water and white vinegar. Okay. And maybe just a dot of a little drop of Dawn liquid. Best window cleaner ever. Okay. And my all-purpose cleaner, I am right now using up Young Living because I used to be on an auto ship for Young Living essential oils and stuff. So I have Thieves, and this is a chemical-free all-purpose cleaner that I mix up in here, according to the bottle, and that's my all-purpose cleaner. And it smells amazing, okay? Now, if you don't have that, then I recommend you get this awesome um, let's see, is it called awesome? Totally. LA's totally awesome. Dollar twenty-five at, do at Dollar Tree. And let me tell you a story about this. 
I had a guy come to my office one time with my ex-husband and I, and we had eight, you know, we, we owned 18 wheelers and all that stuff because we picked up used oil and recycled it. But he came with the, you can get this in a quart bottle. I think it's a quart or half gallon, whatever it is for $3 at um, Dollar General and stuff. Well, he came with a box of four. He sold it to us for 80 bucks. And what he did is he took this label off. So it was just in the plain bottle. He took us outside and he demonstrated this stuff on our 18 wheeler wheels, our stainless steel wheels, or whatever they are. Shine them babies up. Then he took me to my car and he showed me what it would do on my leather seats. Cleaned it right up. Then he showed us a place on the carpet. Cleaned it right up. And so we bought two boxes from him, 160 bucks. Or, or maybe it was $40 a box and we spent 80. I can't remember. It's been a long, long time ago. But um, I take my hat off for him for coming up with a unique way of making a living, right? But when I asked him for a business card, he didn't have any to give me. Um, so then I started thinking. And then when I went to Dollar General or something and I saw the bottle, I said, oh, my God, look at this. This is what it was. He even put his finger in it and put it on his tongue and said it was non-toxic. Now, I don't know if it's non-toxic or not. <laughs> but nonetheless, it's some good stuff. So you can mix this in your bottle for an all-purpose cleaner. Amazing for carpet cleaning. You put one part this, one part of the purple Fabuloose. Let me show you. Um, you can put one part this, purple Fabuloose, one part of this, and one part water in your shampooer to shampoo your carpets. Amazing. You can put some of this diluted down, of course, and put it in a separate bottle for, uh, actually, now Dollar Tree has a spot cleaner for laundry, a pre-wash. Pre you could probably spot clean with that, spray it on your carpets, and there's your um, cleaner for your carpet. Okay? So, that is basically what I use um, for cleaning is this. And then, of course, Bars Keeper for my stove. I know it's backwards because I want to see comments. Um, so Bar Keeper for my stove and a, yellow, and a green scrubby pad. And that's what I do. I'm out of breath, y'all. Okay, so now I'm going to let's see if I can. Which way do I need to go this way? Okay, so I'm going to start, like I said, at this end of my counter. So I got me a, a thing of rags right here. Put that there. Let me move my drinks. Let's see, where am I going to put? Let me put my drinks over here for right now. I've got a root beer and a grape soda going. So I'm going to spray my bar down with my all-purpose cleaner and let that sit there for a second. So... So typically when you speed cleaning, you want to start at the top and start at that part of the room. So start at your left, start at the top. Now I don't have a ceiling fan in here. I do have a light fixture up there. And let me get my step stool. And it won't take but a minute. And I'm going to take me a rag. Now I have me a bucket. This came from Young Living. And I like to mix me up some cleaner in there. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to dust my light fixture. Real quick, I got my stool. Start at the top first. And the reason you start at the top is because you're going to have dust. You're going to have dust falling. And you save your floors for last. Okay? And we have a cat, so we have a lot of cat hair, even though she's pretty much outside and I'm wiping the the light bulb and okay there we go so while I'm up here now I'm seeing spots I'm gonna go right here and I'm gonna do this so you're gonna go all the way to the right I'm going to take this picture. This is one of my crafts that I made and dust the top, dust inside the frame, and then put that back. Okay? 
you know, scoop my tool off over there. I hope y'all can see okay. I'm going to spray my bar. And I don't, this is granite. Oh, I guess I don't have to yell. I have new granite um, counters. So I'm going to spray those. I'm going to let that sit. Now I'm going to take all my stuff out of my sink. I do like to use a soft scrub in here, um, and it has bleach in it, so I'm going to just squirt me some in there, and I'm going to see how long this takes, okay? Then I'm going to take my scrubby, take all that over there, and the reason I'm doing the sink right now instead of that counter is because I want this to soak while I do some of this other stuff. Okay. Now, you could always make sure your kitchen is all tidy and put in place. My, that's what my daughter does every night. She will not go to bed until everything is put away, sinks cleaned down and everything. That would be the easy way. I don't, well, I'll say easy. If you did it every night, I guess your kitchen would always be together but I have two men in the house and my dad uses this microwave a lot and anyway it's not always put together every night in this kitchen and a lot of times they don't they'll eat after I clean up the kitchen they'll go and dad will make shakes vanilla shakes and strawberry shakes and chocolate shake or whatever and so now I'm going to let this sit, okay? Let it sit with that. And I love the smell of that stuff. It's lemon. All right. I'm going to wipe my hands off with this. Now I'm going to take um, and put this cleaner away since I showed it to you. Now I'm going to spray this counter. Move my grapes. Okay, now I'm going to take a t another, I'm going to take this soft rag, I don't know what this was, but cut up rags out of old, it looks like it was a sheet or something, I don't know, like a baby sheet or something for a crib. Now I'm going to go wipe that, so I'm going to go to the other side of my bar and do this, wipe it down. Oh, and I forgot to get my razor blade, I think, from the front yard. I went out there and I totally forgot to get it to clean my stove. But I think it's already scraped and all that. I just got to buff it up and shine it. Okay, so there's the bar. Now, um, what you can do is I can go ahead and wipe down this bar stool because I'm right here. So wipe it down, go down the legs, the cross legs, dust them, and get it all dusted and done, okay? So there's that. The other bar stool's in my living room because I wanna clean the ceiling fan. Um, so in the living room, I have a ceiling fan, so I'd clean the ceiling fan first because all the dust is gonna fall. Okay, now I'm gonna wipe this counter down do the backsplash, wipe it down. I'll show you how quick you can have your house clean. Um, and you do the floor last. So, oh goodness, I just got my finger in the wrong thing. Okay, now you're going to take your all purpose cleaner. And so you work from the top and down. So now clean the cabinet. I spray the cabinets. Because you know those bottom cabinet doors, they get yuck. Okay. Especially if you got kids or men in the house. My dad likes to cook. So you find stuff drip down there, you know. So just go ahead and wipe it down. It don't take long. It doesn't take long at all. Just real quick, just real quick, get it all wiped. Now my cabinets, 
My bottoms have not been painted yet. My top ones have. I haven't got around to it. Well, actually, my son's supposed to be doing it. Um, you know, you do it for each other. I keep the babies. You do some household things for me, right? And my cat, she knows how to open the cabinet doors. So the top of them, they all have cat scratches, um, claw marks on them. Oh, I see stuff down these cabinets. Um, okay, I know this is probably boring for y'all, but bear with me. Bear with me. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and spray the dishwasher. Spray that. Let that soak while I get this cabinet. Okay. All right. So everything up above is done. Now I'm going to rinse the sink so I can put my other stuff back in there. Rinse that out. Nice and clean. Have it nice and clean. I guess we could call this Friday date night for you and I. Clean. Clean this. And a toothbrush is handy um, if you need to clean around the faucet. You can use a toothbrush and just run that around there and it gets anything built up around there. Real quick, that simple, okay? That simple. Okay. Okay, now I'm put my candle back there. Put my stoppers back there. Go over that one more time. Make sure I got the soap off there. Okay. Now I'll put my stainless or my little racks back in there. Um, okay, now we'll do this one this counter. So let me turn y'all. Hopefully I still have y'all. I'm going to move y'all closer. Hold on. I don't have the best little thing in here. Let's see. Move y'all closer. Whew. Oh, I forgot to say before you start, turn the AC down. <laughs> let me go put it down a notch or two because, oh, you know what? I got a fan right here. I got a little fan on my counter. I may show you in a minute. You know this girl. She gets all hot and bothered, so I got to turn it on. And so now, this right here is my dad's. He drinks coffee all day. He never washes his cup. So when I see it over here and it's all stained on the inside, I take my my scrubby pad and I wash it real good so it just got washed okay now I'm gonna spray this I'm gonna spray the backsplash spray that counter I told y'all about this about this microwave it's disgusting y'all and look I tell y'all I got this right here beside the microwave do y'all know what that's for you know, when you heat up food, I'm the only one. I'm the only one. And it's right there. Right there. So, I'm going to go ahead. In fact, I was in bed having coffee a couple days ago. My dad, he likes boiled eggs. So, we make them up ahead of time and we have our own chickens. He puts them in a Ziploc and keeps them in the fridge. But he likes to heat them up in the microwave. 
I could hear them eggs popping in the in the microwave. I said, well, there goes the microwave. It's going to have egg yolk popped all over the place. <laughs> so it is what it is. Like like uh, Charlene or somebody told me on here, one day you'll miss it. I'll be opening that that microwave thinking, man, I wish I still had my dad here to pop um, boiled eggs all over the microwave, right? <laughs> Hi, Pam. Yes, fabulous Friday. Same at your house, Bonnie. You know how it goes. You know what? I don't even say nothing anymore. I'll still keep that cover right there. But if I'm in here when I see him doing it, I may stop that microwave and put the cover on it. Um, another thing that he does that aggravates, well, doesn't aggravate me. I just don't understand. If he doesn't finish his plate for dinner, he puts it in the microwave with the fork still on the plate and doesn't cover it. I don't like stuff not covered, you know, in the refrigerator. So, and I'm not, I'm not complaining, y'all. I know it sounds like it. This is how I like to keep my silverware. Okay, one of these caddies from Hobby Lobby. And so I got, it has four compartments. So I have forks, knives, the big spoons, and the teaspoons all in there to, to free up my drawer for other utensils and all the things. Because y'all know I got a lot of Tupperware stuff. Um, okay. I don't know if y'all can see me. So now I'm going to pull this, um, whatever you call this thing, microwave out and spray it down. Spray the door. Soak all that in there. And let me get me another towel. So I use... I use a lot of towels. I just grabbed a new one and about six towels. It's not going to take up much room in the in the uh, washing machine when I wash the whites. I'd rather do this than a bunch of paper towels. Paper goods is too expensive and it's just going in the trash. Okay? My two cents on it. Okay? So now I'm going to rub this down. Scrub this down. Boom, boom, boom. Real quick. Clean this out. And see, when you're cleaning, you just you just dust everything on the floor. Dust it all on the floor because the floor is going to be done last, okay? So, we'll scrub. Do you think it'd do any good if I put a little sign on here, use plastic cover over food? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, so I'm turning it up so I can get the feeling of the microwave. And there we go. Okay, do the sides, do all the way around it. Okay, now I'm going to take my, my rag and wipe it down. Now that I've got it all scrubbed, dry it, wipe it down. I guess I shouldn't yell. I forget I have a mic on, y'all. Clean all this and what to do with that? Do a um, do the handle, and I'll get the outside with the glass cleaner in just a minute. Okay, dry this out. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. The microwave takes the longest. Okay, so I'm sorry, but it does take the long. I should have done the inside, but before I went live, I guess, but, um, okay, there's that. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and get behind the microwave real quick. I'm just doing the whole backsplash and all, and then wipe it down. Actually, I should do the top, because... We need to do the top first. So I'm just going to do these cabinets and run my rag over it. Do the top first. I'm too short to reach. Okay. Thank you. 
this door is the one open the most. Open and get your inside there a little bit. Okay. The bottom of that one. Okay, good enough. All right, now I'm going to wipe this backsplash. Get back there. Okay, now the microwave can go back. And my dad eats these, what are they called, these Spanish things with the little icing on them. He likes to dip them in his coffee. So I buy a big thing and I put a few of them in the freezer because he won't eat all of this before they get hard. So they stay here handy for him. Um, I don't like a lot of stuff out on my counter, but I have to sacrifice while my dad's here. <laughs> while he's living with me, I have to realize stuff is going to be out. Because to me, it's, and all of this, cookies, um, it's easier to keep a clean house when you have little sitting around. Okay? But anyway, okay. Let me finish this cabinet. Okay, and then wipe this one down. I'm going to scrub it because it sounds like there's a little bit of sugar on the counter because my dad has been feeding the honeybees and he goes through about two gallons of sugar water a day, sugar water and vinegar because the honeybees are foraging right now and he's going to, we're going to try to have some honey and in March we go to San Antonio and pick up our our batch of bees I guess with the queen and all that you know so we'll be doing some new things now I'm gonna put this back but before I do these are really nasty his spoon is nasty he doesn't wash it he just rinses it and lays it on top so I put it in the sink and I put him a clean spoon out okay and I'm going to get my, my scrubber, scrub the top, scrub the top, and I'm going to take these out. See that? Dirty. So this has little rubber things on the bottom, and I put his coffee creamer and sugar in here. Um, because when I'm doing dishes and stuff, you know, water's always going to get up on the counter. And this way I can move all three of his coffee things with one pickup with this tray. So that's what I like to do for him. Wipe this one out. <clears throat> okay. Now I'll wipe his coffee. And typically I would go ahead and refill his coffee right now because I have it in that cabinet, but I'm not going to do it right now. Put that back. I'll clean this one. And from time to time, I'll empty these, and I'll go ahead and wash the inside as well. Um, but I'm not doing it on this live. Okay. Clean these up. And they have to be in there in a certain order. Coffee first, sugar, and then the creamer. <laughs> so, that's his order. Okay. So, there's Dad's coffee. Put it back right there next to the microwave where he puts water in here and he heats it in there. I'm going to look on Amazon and see what I can buy that maybe I can have set aside to keep his water hot all day and have it ready when he wants coffee because he heats it up so long in here. I guarantee that water is probably boiling that the bottom of my microwave is bubbling and the steam and all it's rusting the bottom. So there's his thing and we're going to do with the spoon right there and there's a spoon so there's dad's coffee thing okay now we're right here now my curtain I already took and it's in it it's in my laundry room I already washed it and dried it 
I just need to bring it in here. And so now you just spray that if you got a window. And we'll clean the window. Okay. And, you know, it gets, we do a lot of uh, frying of foods. Um, last night I made New York strip or ribeyes. I can't remember which one they were. Um, so it does get greasy in here. Don't forget the window seal. Wipe that down. And I'm using that vinegar and water with a little drop of Dawn liquid in there. Wipe out the window seal. And bam, there's that, okay? Okay, now I'm going to, this can go back next to my sink. There's Dad's timer for when he makes, I got a timer on the stove, but he still likes to use his timer for when he boils eggs. So there's that. So now I'm going to move this. And here's our gallon of wine from Walmart for 12 something. So I can have that gallon jug. My husband and I need to drink up. We rarely drink, but it's cheaper to buy that than to have it shipped from Amazon and they're 14 something a piece on Amazon. Okay, so now I'm just going to use my scrubby, go over my backsplash, do this counter, and all the debris is going to the floor. Okay, now before I wipe this down, I'm just going to go ahead and spray my cabinets. This is the ones that get dirty the most because this is where we stand when we're cooking or baking, making cornbread. And there we go. Let it soak while I wipe this one down, okay? Bam. Then when you have less sitting around, um, the faster it is clean because you don't have to move stuff around as much, okay? Then you just wipe this one down. Okay, that goes back there. Okay, wipe this down. Now this I cleaned really good last week, so I'm just lightly wiping it down. That was given to me. Put it in the window. Okay. Now I do the bottom cabinets. And we're almost to the end over there where the stove is at. So you see, oh yeah, I forgot the dishwasher. Um, let me, I'm going to get paper towels because, nope, here I found, I got more rags. I thought I didn't have enough rags. So I'm going to use this fiber one for the front of the dishwasher. And I think I need to. I need to spray it again. I waited too long and it dried up. Okay. Do my dishwasher. I never use the dishwasher, y'all. It's new and I never use it. I just like to wash dishes by hand uh, because it's faster. And then I put them away before I leave the kitchen, typically. Um, I like having it all done. I hate unloading a dishwasher. I don't know why, but I do. I hate unloading it. Now, one thing I do use it for is if I have things on a, um, like my Rachel Ray coffee cups over here hanging on the wall. And if there's any uh, glass things over ceiling fan lights, I like to put them in the dishwasher and run them through. While I'm doing other things, okay? Here's this. This can go back. That can go back. And I'm going to go ahead and just put this wine back over here. Maybe tonight my husband and I can have a little bit. What we did the other night, the part that's missing is we had a wine cooler. Because I had some Sprites and we put it on, on Sprite. Okay. Now I'm going to... Um, 
and I, I recently cleaned this, but I'm going to do it again. Um, so now I'm at the stove. Let me turn y'all this way. Now we're at the stove. And what I really need, because you know, I used to have somebody come and do the cleaning every two weeks, and we stopped. Um, since I don't work a W-2 job, you know, I felt like I could do this myself. So, um, so I'm going to spray that down with my degreaser here, my all purpose cleaner. And, but what I need, what she used, is one of those dusters on an extended uh, wand that you can extend out. Would be nice for me to clean that, that picture up there that says bed and breakfast. Bed and breakfast, Davis Farms. My last name's Davis. Um, so I'm going to put my rag in my bucket of all-purpose cleaner, and I'm just going to go ahead and run it through there and wring it out. And then I will go over that up there. So I don't want y'all to see my bum. So there we go. Wipe it down. And our, one of our things that we're going to do, we've been, uh, we moved in this house. We bought this house in 2010. And we've been doing things. We, we, we've replaced the roof with the whole decking and all because it was so wavy up there. It's a 1978 model house. And... Redid the central air and heat, new hot water heater, new fence, new stove, new refrigerator, all the things. And so this is one of the things that is going to be next. We redid the grant. Uh, the, it used to be just a chopping block countertop, you know, those for Michael, whatever it was. Um, but we want to get a microwave that goes here. A microwave with the vena hood so that will come at some point and okay um, now I'm gonna my stove was already clean so I'm just gonna shine it up with some um, glass cleaner to do the back I'm gonna go ahead and do my all-purpose degreaser back there on the back splash and wipe that down we had the, when we had this granite done the guy that was doing it he never came back to finish there's one little row across the top he never finished so we have that not finished okay wipe my stove down now this is another thing you could take these knobs off and, and put them in the dishwasher with all your, you know, stuff you like to put in there to clean. You can put them in the dishwasher. Say you're about to run your dishwasher, pull the knobs off. Put them in the little um, silverware basket. And run them through there. Because they get greasy. Um, they do get greasy. Now my glass countertop or my counter stove here I do like to use paper to shine it up so hold on I'm going to get my um, my napkin plies and get those so I use these napkin plies that I save and I will shine this up with that Okay, turn it over and you just keep going and get it buffed up. Okay. Okay, now we got to do the front of the stove. Don't forget the front of the stove. And I'm going to use the all purpose on that. And run over this. Okay. All right, now just got that one corner, which is where my, um, what do you call that thing? Air fryer is. 
So I'm going to spray my air fryer. I got these at a garage sale. And I paid $5 for this little set with the six. And one of my grandbabies, one of the twins, took one out. And because it was sitting over here on the floor. And I let them out one day and I forgot to pick it up. She dropped it over here and broke it. So I'm missing one. And I'm thinking I might be able to get one of those Starbucks drinks. And maybe I can substitute it for for that. I don't really know what I'm going to do with that yet. I just liked it. So I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I may fix it up and put it up on my pots and pan rack up there just to display. So my daughter got me this air fryer for Christmas because I was wanting one and I haven't used it very much. I forget about it. Okay, my chopping block, I'm going to spray it down with this degreaser because like I said, we, we did steaks last night and stuff and um, everything gets greasy when you fry. So I'm just going to quickly, let me just take these out, do the top here. Doesn't take but a minute, okay? And then I'll wipe it down. So how long have I been on? And we've got that much clean and all that's left is the floor. And I don't like to, I like to use a vacuum. I like to use a vacuum when I do the floor. So I'm, when you sweep and use a broom, you're just throwing the dust all around, okay? You're throwing it around. Okay, now put these back in. Oh, I dirtied up my stove, y'all. Look at that, I sprayed my stove. Okay, let me set this over here. All right. Took, got my stove wet. All right. Now I'll do my degreaser over here. This counter, the backsplash, and we're we're getting there. Do my backsplash. If you do this every week, then you know if you want to skip backsplash next week because you did it this week, <coughs> you did it this week, you're okay. Don't worry about it, right? So. Okay, there's that. Put my knives back. Okay. <laughs> the only problem with doing all this is tomorrow morning and we get up and we want to make breakfast. I'm like, ah, we're going to be frying stuff on the stove and cooking breakfast <laughs> and dirty it all up. But that's okay. That's okay. Now, um, Oh, I forgot that cabinet. Hold on. I'm going to take this this towel, run over this cabinet. This one doesn't get used much, so there's not much. Just maybe some dust on the bottom. Okay, that one's done. Okay, so we did top to bottom. Top to bottom. My spices are in this one, and my spices are in this drawer. So, I don't know if y'all can see. Let me show y'all. So I got spices. I don't know. Can y'all see? They're lined up. I got a deal from Walmart where they can lay in there. <clears throat> okay. Now I'm going to move y'all and get you dizzy. Now I'm going to do this side. Okay. Um, but yes, you would do this up here. Do this. You know, dust it and all that. Now my pots and pans get used all the time. I'm not going to worry about dusting that right now, <clears throat> but I'm showing y'all. Start at the top, work your way down. Um, this wall right here has got an iron skillet. I forget to use it, but it's a flat one. And then my Rachel Ray's right here. And look at here, I see something splattered on my wall. 
Somebody looks like they dropped something. It was probably me. <laughs> it was probably me. Who knows? Um, anyway. Okay. Now, this piece of furniture I found on the side of the road. Can y'all see it? It's um, that antique hutch. So, I have... Let's see. Let me see if I can do it right there. So I have on this one right here, I have my seal meal There's two different ones in there. And all the seal meal bags on that side right there. Then I have a drawer right here. So I have my tea bags. I got some candles in here. My coffee mate or my coffee filters. Uh, some recipe cards and my coffee is in here. But I keep my coffee right here with my scoop um, sugar which we don't use for coffee but it's here if somebody needed coffee and I have tea bags back here I have hot chocolate stuff in these canning jars so to clean this counter which needs to be done because I didn't do it last week I skipped it I skipped it last week so I'm going to take everything off to clean it I already cleaned my coffee pot a while ago, so I don't have to just clean the coffee pot. It's done. Okay. So, I am just going to take my wet rag and just go over it. And my husband and I use the same cups every morning for our coffee. Our coffee stays hot in here. And we have coffee in bed every morning, and we're probably in bed a couple of hours doing, I'm answering messages on Facebook, <laughs> I'm working uh, while I have my coffee. But I'm a slow sipper, so this keeps it warm, and same with him. And he has a business too, and he's usually trying to put out fires because he's got six trucks working, and there's always somebody calling in, right? So, um, so he's always having to work too. From the bed, okay? And uh, so I'm going to wipe this down. And there we go. Now, this piece of furniture needs to be redone. Um, I'm just not sure what I'm going to do with it. It was my craft table in the other room for a period of time. And until I decided to make use of the big desk that's in there. But... Um, so I'm just going to dry that off before I put this stuff back. And then you just put it back real quick. But I'm going to clean the top lid. This is stuff I like to put in the dishwasher too. Is like the lids. Because they all get greasy and feel yuck. Um, so, and my tea bags are in here. My caffeinated tea bags. And then I have decaf ones in my drawer. Because I cannot do caffeine after... A certain period of time okay and then the same way with this one clean your tops before you put them back and just wipe it down okay real quick and y'all you feel really good when you get this done you do you feel you feel accomplished you feel like a rising star man you feel like a rising star Okay, my homemade hot chocolate. And the marshmallows to go with it that are in mason jars. And chocolate morsels. All right. Okay, there's that. And then I put my spoon rest, my Rachel Wade, right back here. And here's my spoon for the hot chocolate. And then I put my two coffee cups back here kind of behind my coffee pot. And it's ready to go for my coffee, okay? Now, we'll just move on over here. And can y'all see? I'm not sure what y'all see. Now I'm going to take my craft from last night. My craft from last night. Y'all see my pretty craft? Go watch the replay. Looky here, my, my cutting board. 
still has the price tag on it. <laughs> um, that was one of those 90% off whatever um, at Hobby Lobby. And I wasn't sure if I was going to use that for a Christmas gift. And I ended up keeping that one. Um, okay. Now I'm going to use this little scrubby right here because it looks like it might need a little bit. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Okay. And I'm going to take this wet one and I'm just going to wipe across my frame right, my little picture right here. Just wipe over it, just get the dust, okay? Believe it or not, dust accumulates even on a flat surface. If the sun's shining just right in a room that has paneling on the wall, you look at it a certain way, it's covered in dust. When I had paneling in my mobile home many years ago, I would vacuum my walls because I have a dust allergy. I will sneeze and sneeze and sneeze. In fact, when I clean house, it would probably be best if I wore a mask on. But so far, I've not been sneezing, so I'm surprised. <clears throat> so, and I will go over comments. I'm sorry that I'm busy and not paying attention. But, um, so like I said, we like to do, oops, I went a line. But we like to do, um, you know, if, it, if the panel fit in here, we prefer to use this. It preheats a lot faster than waiting on the big oven. Okay. And then I'll just put this back on there. And I keep that because this whole oven will get hot when we use it. But because the cutting board's there, I don't want to take it off. And I have a piece of ceramic tile under this so that it doesn't damage the, <clears throat> the furniture. <clears throat> okay. Now, I'm going to... i got both my drinks here. I've got my napkins here. And I'm going to say um, the only thing left now is that side let me let me get y'all closer i said my kitchen's a u-shape so i don't know if you want to count that wall it's not it would be i guess more than that so <clears throat> i don't know if y'all can see so there we go so my husband had these custom made in here this was totally different the refrigerator was Further over here, and there was a small pantry over here. There was a door. There was a door on this side that went to the living room. We closed that off, and we made them even this wall out by making these cabinets and putting the fridge in the center. So now I have a lot of storage, and all my big appliances are up there: the ice cream maker and the Ninja and all that stuff. So, <clears throat> so anyway, so now we're now we're over here because remember we're, we're we started it on the the right and we're and we moved to the right all the way around and so you start at the top right just kind of spray usually these cabinet doors get really dirty because that's where the hands are the most so I like to do around the handles my husband did these handles just for a quick something after these cabinets were made I haven't decided what I need to do for these uh, knobs yet, so it works for now. The rest of everything has black and gold handles, so I don't know what I'm going to do with these. I probably just need to paint them something and utilize them. Okay, run across the bottom because the dust collects there, and you don't have to go over the whole cabinet every time. And, of course, next would be the refrigerator, and then I'd wipe down this one. And I'm not going to keep y'all on for me to finish that. I will finish that off camera, so I will go over the, the refrigerator. Now, on Wednesday nights, I like to clean out my refrigerator and wipe it down on the inside because my trash day is on Thursday. So I like to go through there, and I'll see. Of course, a lot of times I feed 
our chickens, leftover peas and stuff that didn't get used. Um, but so a good a good thing to do is the night before trash day is go through the refrigerator. Get rid of your stuff. One thing I also like to do, let me see if I can show y'all. Um, so my refrigerator is a mess right now, and I like it to be organized. But you, I don't know, can y'all see this? I mark on here, this is Tupperware, but it says 215 gravy. So I need to run this down the drain, I guess. And we had Chinese the other night. So I marked it 217 rice. So use a marker and mark your food in the refrigerator because that way when you get in, you know, time goes fast. And you're thinking, how old is that? So I keep markers right here in my drawers to mark them. And as far as your tubware and stuff, this will come off with a scrubby. I put tape over that for some reason. I put clear tape over it. Oh, I put clear, somebody's hands wouldn't rub it off. But even though it's a permanent marker, it comes off with the scrubby pad and Dawn liquid. <clears throat> okay, so that's what I do for in there because my dad gets up at all times and he wants something to eat. And that way he can figure out, okay, it's only two days old, I'll eat it, right? So how long do y'all go on leftovers before you throw them out? How many days? <laughs> um but anyway, that is the speed cleaning. So start at one side of the room, start at the top, work your way down. Now, if you have your apron on, I'm going to look online, I'm going to order one, and I'll do another room that's not the kitchen and show you all how to use the apron with all your things. Your, you have a little trash bag right there in your one pocket. You've got your duster in your back pocket. You've got loops that you hang your... Um, your glass cleaner and your all-purpose cleaner. You've got your razor blade. You have a wet sponge because you line your pocket with a plastic bag. You have um, all your stuff on you so you don't ever leave. You stay right here and you work this area. you got all your stuff in your tool bag, okay? And then you keep going around top to bottom, top to bottom, top to bottom. And then when you're done here, you're done. You're, all you got to do is vacuum the floor. But the best thing to do is leave the floor, go to the next room, okay? And then maybe run the vacuum on this room and that room and then go to the next room. So if you do this, you could probably have the chores done pretty quickly, especially if you start on Thursday night and do your bedroom and your bathroom because they're probably together. And maybe the living room. And then Friday night, you can at the kitchen and the dining room and maybe the front bathroom or whatever okay so uh, and also while you're doing all this start the laundry usually when I leave my bedroom after devotion in the morning I will if if it's time to wash which is usually Wednesdays and Fridays typically um, I got clothes right now sheets I have my sheets to go put in the dryer so um when I go out, my washroom is right there across from my bedroom door because my bedroom's right over there. Um, I go put a load in to wash, you know. So I always, wherever I'm at in the house, I'm like, okay, I'm leaving here to go to the craft room. Is there anything in here I need to carry in there? I always ask myself because even though I need to exercise, <laughs> I try to save steps, right? So I hope this is helpful to you guys. Um, because I don't know how people do it. And I only learned this from my mother because she got the videos on speed cleaning. And they have their own cleaning products as well. And they have all the stuff. And she got all their stuff. And she watched the video. And she started cleaning house using their method. And it made a big difference. Okay. So... You don't want to be running here and there and all the places. And so you have it all on you and you get it done. So I hope this is helpful and do all the things, sprinkle it out there. And and um, if you enjoyed it, give me give me some hearts and uh, 
and I will see y'all next time. So I will probably not be, well, I know I'm not. I'm not going to craft tonight. I have a birthday thing to go to. So um, anyway, thank y'all for watching, and I'll probably see y'all tomorrow to do spin the wheel, okay? A couple of them. Bye-bye for now.